Um, but it's not just major cities like Detroit that's seeing heroin problems. We're facing our own right here in the UP. In part two of our three-part series on the drug, Fox TP reporter Rachel Droz looks into the legal ramifications of heroin use. So what'd you find out, Rachel? Well, Ben, since heroin is such a dangerous drug, a prosecutor in the Upper Peninsula says the legal consequences of possessing or selling it can be very severe. In 2013 alone, 22 heroin dealers were arrested right here in the UP. Out of those 22 dealers that we arrested in 2013, 18 of them came out of the city of Menominee. And that's where we first really saw an increase of heroin. In 2014, Upset arrested 12 heroin dealers in the Upper Peninsula. They expect more arrests will be made this year, though, because some investigations are still ongoing. We're dealing right with the users that are sometimes selling the product to support their habits. So they're dealers slash users. Which is true for a recovering addict from Iron Mountain who asks Fox UP to hide her identity due to ongoing legal matters. I never smoked marijuana. You know, I sold it for money. Over the past three years, Dickinson County Prosecutor Lisa Richards says drug crimes made up between 16 to 18 percent of their total caseload. But oftentimes addicts commit collateral crimes to support their habit. If you consider the fact that most property crimes are drug motivated, meaning that the person committing the crime is either uh, looking to get drugs or they're looking to get money to get drugs, that number goes up to between 30 and 35 percent of our overall caseload. I couldn't say that I've robbed anybody. No matter what that, that is not who I am. I never had to do that. But I did, you know, do some really crazy things that I probably shouldn't have done that may have been worse than that. But I know a lot of people that have went above and beyond to do whatever it took to get their drugs. Richard says charges involving heroin vary case to case, but typically they're treated severely. When you're talking heroin, it's a Schedule One narcotic drug. It's a pretty highly addictive substance, so we do tend to treat possession and or sale of narcotic drugs a little bit more severely than we do uh, possession or sale of non-narcotic drugs. Throughout her battle, the recovering addict from Iron Mountain says she was in jail five or six times for various reasons. To this day, it kind of haunts me because if I would have stopped back then, maybe I would have had a chance to do things that I wanted to do in life. You know, like, I can't do a lot of things because of my drug problem. I became a felon very, very fast. That screws me up for getting anything as far as in the medical field like I wanted to do. The Upper Peninsula Substance Enforcement Team says gang members from inner cities like Chicago, Milwaukee, or Detroit are coming to the UP. They're distributing their drugs up here because the sale price is much higher. A tenth of a gram of heroin in more populated areas goes for about 10 to $15, while up here, they say the same amount can cost up to 50 So now, um, like we said before, this is a three-part series. What do we have uh, to, uh, tomorrow coming up? Well, tomorrow we'll be looking at um, into what leads addicts down the road to recovery and what that recovery is actually like. And that'll be on tomorrow right here on Fox at 10-9 Central. All right, thanks, Rachel.